Hey, what's going on, guys? It's JB the Chiha. And if you look at my 280 preview discussion, you know, I was real skeptical and, you know, nervous about Sasuke being shown in this episode because of some events that take place later in the manga. And for you anime only viewers, I'm not going to spoil anything, but we weren't supposed to see Sasuke in this episode. But, you know, I'm glad to see that it really wasn't the real Sasuke. But, yeah, this was an okay episode as far as fillers go. There's really that, not that much to review. But, anyway, is it me or are you guys ready for a new opening? You know, I think it's in two more weeks. The new op opening will be in two more weeks. And I'll do a live reaction to that. But, yeah, yeah I'm getting real tired of this opening. I skipped through it, you know, every time now. It is, it's just annoying for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's the music or what. But anyway, then we switch over to Conqueror's group, and this samurai comes up and tells his other other samurai that he'll relieve him of guarding Daedara, and he's like, well, okay, you know, finally. And turns out that it's Zetsu, and he's going to help Daedara escape, and um, her name, you know, I'm sorry if I butcher her name. I think her name is Kurochi. You know, if I just butchered it, forgive me, but she's going to be known as Kurochi in this review. But then Kurochi comes and interrogates Daedara and yes she asks where Kabuto is and then she asks where Sasuke is and then Daedara was like what Sasuke is alive and then he goes into this ramble and rant about art and he should have been dead and blah 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 and one of the um I forgot his name but one of the, the you know the higher up samurais he walks up to the samurai Zetsu and then he says mountain and I guess it's like it's like a you know cold thing and then the, the, the Zetsu samurai is like um, distant skies, and I'm like, like, what, what, what the hell? You know, is that the first thing that popped in your mind? And then another Zetsu gets slaughtered, and then bada bing, bada boom, Datura breaks out thanks to the sword that Zetsu had gave him. And then Datura and Zetsu's run away, and you know, a few Zetsu's get sacrificed. And I think it's kind of funny that Datura says, "You're still weak as ever," huh? and the Zetsu is like, "Well, that was just a tactic to get that Zetsu killed." I'm like, so it's a tactic to get. Like, 90% of you guys slaughtered because, I mean, every Zetsu that we've seen pretty much has gotten slaughtered so far, except for Black Zetsu. So, for him to say that, well, you know, I, I wasn't really trying. He was just a tactic. You know, he was supposed to die. For him to say that is just like a big, you know, like, what the fuck? It's like, it's a pure excuse. But then, you know, we there's a little nice fight scene. I really won't go into that because really not much happened except for when Daedara exploded himself. And he found out that he'll regenerate. And he was, you know, upset that he could regenerate after he exploded. I'm like, do you want to die again? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? And then, and then they go to find some more clay. And and Daedara sees Sasuke walking in the water. And as soon as we, I saw Sasuke, I don't know what it was, but as soon as I saw Sasuke, I knew that wasn't the real Sasuke. I don't know if it was the music or how he walked. You know, across the water, but I just knew it wasn't the real Sasuke. And Daedara was like, 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 what the fuck are you doing here? And then. Sasuke is like, where's Naruto? And then Dato was like, not not this shit again. You know, why don't you pay any attention to me? Do you do you not give a damn about me at all? And then Sasuke said, nope. And I not actually I actually LOL to that part, you know, because that's all Sasuke said. It was like a, a awkward pause for like two or three seconds, and he just said nope. And then Dato, you could tell Dato was <laughs> hurt and shocked just by his face. Then Sasuke ran away, and Dato chased after Sasuke. And then Sasuke is really Kurochi. Again, I'm sorry if I butcher her name. She really Kurochi, you know. And they led Daedara into a trap. And long story short, he gets sealed again. So at the beginning of this episode, he was sealed. He got loose, and then got sealed again. I mean, I mean, it's it's a filler episode. It's and it's okay as far as filler episodes go. You know, it's good. You know, it was cool to see Daedara running around again, since we probably won't see that ever again, to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's okay. You know, it's kind of good to see characters that don't get any shine in the manga get a little something, you know. But, yeah, it was all this. That's what this episode was pretty much about, is Daedara getting out, then getting captured again in, like, 10 or 15 minutes. But, it, like I said, it was okay. But as far as 281 is concerned, I don't think I'm going to review that. Because, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't look interesting at all. The only reason I may review it is because I saw the third, a flashback of the third Hokage. And if there's some good dialogue in there, I may review it. But, yeah, it doesn't really look too interesting. 
you know, I'm glad that we only have two more weeks of filler. The next 281 is going to be the last filler episode, and then we're finally going to get to the Rey Kage, you know, versus Naruto. I hope, but and then we're getting a new opening in 282. So thumbs up if you can't wait for that, because I'm really tired of this opening because it's getting really annoying. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have. This has been JB the Chiha. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.